Hi, I'm going to show you um, how to link um, using PhoneGap or Cordova um, to the open up into the Safari app on iOS. Um, so I'm doing this and I have just basic HTML links. Um, I use a target of uh, blank and uh, I'm going to show you exactly what the problem is uh, usually by default. So I'm going to run this. I'm going to go down to my footer links. You can see that initially it doesn't even work, and I get this error right here. It says error whitelist rejection error. And first, we got to fix that. That's fixed in the config.xml file. You can see right over here. I can just delete this as default, make it just a star, axis origin star, and this is going to allow you to link or get elements from anywhere, not just the app uh, or a local device at least. So now we're going to rerun this. And we're going to get one more error. So that's actually going to open up. You can see that from the status bar, it actually opened up in the same application. So if I go over here, you can see that um, it's opened up inside the Brandon Brodsky app. So the way we have to fix that is we're going to go over here and we're going to go and just a, a little bit of core files inside classes. We go to main view controller. We're going to add a little bit of code. Um, and I'll copy and paste this inside of uh, the YouTube description. And what this is going to do is going to allow you to link to anything. I'm going to hit save for that and we're going to rerun our application. And you can see it just opening. And we're going to test it one more time and if it succeeded, um, it should open up in the Safari app. You can see it sure did. You can see that we have a Safari app over here. We have the Brandon Brodsky app over here. We can still mess around with it and it doesn't really affect the whole uh, usability of everything. Cool. If you have any other questions, please let me know. Um, I would love to be able to help out. Thank you. Bye.